Поздравляю. Поздравляем тебя тоже. Тебя тоже поздравляем. Наконец-то. Наконец-то вы даем. Нет. Нет. I'd like to welcome all of you to this very special celebration, the wedding of Tatiana and Peter. Today is a special day for so many reasons. Nature has favored us with a beautiful view. 
and a wonderful San Francisco afternoon. Friends and family from far and near have taken the time and effort to bring themselves and their love for our bride and groom to this time and place. This day for the rest of their lives will be a special day, a special personal holiday for this couple. And today, together, all of us are creating this important and unique place in time, weaving together all of our greatest wishes and hopes for Tatiana and Peter. You can see here two beautiful palm trees, and they are adorned with your wishes and gifts of wisdom and love that you brought with you today. And I'm sure that Tatiana and Peter will cherish your notes and read them again and again throughout their married life. Trees, as you know, are very symbolic. They're symbolic of stability, of growth, of growing together, of providing sustenance and oxygen to the world's many creatures, of family and of shelter. Trees also symbolize the unknowns of life, the unseen things beneath us that hold us up through the storms and winds of life, much as a tree's roots nourish it and support it. Like this root system, we are here today to support Tatiana and Peter to provide stability and growth throughout the storms of life that are inevitable. If people say that it takes a village to raise a child, then certainly it takes a community to join a couple and create a loving marriage. So today, with your help, we will all join in in creating this union between Sue, two so very loving and beautiful and very happy people. <laughs> I'm very fortunate to be in the position to be able to look out at all of you and your beautiful faces. And so I'd like you to take a moment and just look at each other. Look around you and feel the love and the hope and the wonderful wishes that we all bring to this special place and time. Peter and Tatiana's paths to this point in time have been filled with wonderful people and events, but they never could have come about nor could they have become the individuals they are without their parents. And they will now take a moment to honor their parents for the love, sacrifice, and nurturing that... <laughs> ...for a word of kindness that can literally change our lives and the world forever. All of these unexpected events add richness and fullness to our lives. In hearing the story of how Tatiana and Peter first met, I have no doubt that there is a great deal of the hand of fate, or whatever you like to call it, at work. Some of you may not know the wonderful story of how they met. They both signed up for a sailing class at UC Berkeley, and when they arrived for their first class, there was no one else in attendance except for the two of them and their instructor, Norm Gelbart. Had he not been willing to continue with the class of only two people, and had they not sailed together and gotten to know each other in the very close quarters of a tiny sailboat on the bay, we would not be here today. So today we also celebrate the magic of Tatiana and Peter finding one another and seeking the spark of goodness and love in each other that has grown and sweetened over time. This makes me, and I know Tatiana and Peter, feel very grateful. And I think it also gives us hope that there are many great possibilities out there in all of our futures, if only we are open and sensitive to them. And now I'd like to ask a friend, Rima Ashkenazi, to read a passage from The Art of Good Marriage by Wilfred Arlen Peterson. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle that gathers in the whole family. <laughs> it is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forgive. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Thank you very much. Now, would you join me over here?
Here we have two separate candles symbolizing Tatiana and Peter's se yeah, separate lives. Separate families and separate friends. The spark that, it, that is their lives began with their mothers, the people who brought them into this world. I'd now like to invite their mothers, the mothers of the bride and groom, to join them here in lighting these candles. each of you to use the flames of these candles and together to light the center candle. Individual candles, of course, represent your lives before today. Lighting the unity candle represents that your two lives are now joined as one, and also represents the joining of your two families and circles of friends. Now, as officiant, it's time for a bit of advice from me. Uh, my beautiful wife, Susan, and I have been married for over 33 years. And, of course, we've had a lot of ups and downs, as all married couples have. But this experience has taught me a few things, and I'd like to share just four small bits of wisdom with the bride and groom. First off, remember that your differences are your strengths. Leo Tolstoy said it very well. He said, what counts in making a happy marriage is not so much how compatible you are, but how you deal with incompatibility. And I think that's very, very true. Second, when you have a misunderstanding or disagreement, know when to stop. The poet and author Ogden Nash said it very well. He said, to keep your marriage brimming with love in the loving cup, whenever you're wrong, admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> Number three, keep working individually and together to change yourselves and the world. I know that both of you are very committed people when it comes to our planet, freedom for all people, and generally making the world a better place. Anne Frank said something very profound in her diary that I know you both embody in your own lives. She said, how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. I know that you are both committed to continual learning and growth as individuals, and as a couple, this will serve you very well. Charles Darwin said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. Finally, make time for each other, grow together, nurture each other, share your stories and experiences, both good ones and not so good ones. Like these symbolic trees, grow separate straight and tall and beautiful, but also grow every, ever closer together with your leaves, your branches and fingers intertwined and your roots growing ever together as one. I'm sure that all of us gathered here today wish for you both a life of happiness, joy, impact, love, all of this in a world that is at peace. A wedding is a microcosm of the potential of the world that could be if we all try to make it so. It is a symbol of optimism and hope. Why? Because today we focus on joy and gladness, the bridegroom and the bride, delight and cheer, love and harmony, peace and companionship. My wish for all of us is that we all live to see the day 
when the dominant sounds throughout the world will be just like today. The sounds of happiness, the voices of lovers, the sounds of feasting and singing. Well, now it's time for that very special moment of truth, the moment when you become joined together for life. So I'll try to step back without making feedback so you can see each other. <laughs> Tatiana, do you take Peter to be your husband? Will you love, honor, and cherish him in good times and bad? And do you promise to stay true to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Peter, do you take Tatiana to be your wife? Will you love, honor, and cherish her in good times and bad? And do you promise to stay true to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Now it's time to exchange the rings. Exchanging wedding rings is a tradition that goes back farther than our history books. As you know, rings are a symbol of the eternal bond between two people, worn as a reminder of their love and commitment for each other. So now, Tatiana, please take Peter's ring and place it on his finger. You can get closer together now. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> yes, I know. Peter, when I met you on a small sailboat on this bay, I had no idea what a unique blessing this was. Now, years later, I love you for the ways you make me laugh for your amazing understanding of the world and your compassion for people and for your adventurous spirit and your generous heart. I recognize that it is up to me to be complete, yet I know that you compliment me in a way that makes every experience more lucid, every event more joyful. Your intelligence, your humor, and your caring allow me to live my life more fully and to feel so happy to create a shared life together. With you, I have found peace, joy, and a sense of playfulness that I intend to carry through the rest of our lives. Within myself, I have discovered a love so deep that I'm often astonished by the feeling. Peter. <laughs> Today, I vow to be by your side as long as <laughs> today, Peter, today I vow to be by your side for as long as the fates allow. I vow to always listen to you without judgment and to share in your sorrows and your joys. And I vow to remind myself every day of how blessed I am to have you in my life. Peter, will you please wear this ring? Peter? <laughs> so beautiful. Please take Tatiana's ring, put it on her finger, and you can share. Do you have the ring? <laughs> so, Tatiana picking up with our sailing metaphor. When we met sailing, we had beautiful days and we had windy days. Uh, we had days of light, gentle breezes and days where the boat would knock us into the bay and, and create all kinds of havoc. And throughout all of that, I've known you to be a strong, independent, joyful, and lovely person. And from the very first time I met you, the very first time I saw you, standing there, I knew this is the best woman I've ever met in my life. And I promise, I vow, to be your first mate when you want me to. I'll be your captain when you need me to. I'll steer us a course that's course it's straight and true. And anytime it looks like there's bad weather, you can rely on me to safely guide us both together. And I can make all these promises very easily because 
You're the most lovely, beautiful person I've ever met, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Let me take this ring for you. Tatiana and, <clears throat> and Peter, may your home be a haven and your relationship be one of truth and understanding. May you enjoy long lives, fulfillment of hopes, peace and contentment. And now, by virtue of the authority vested in me by this incredible and beautiful gathering and by the state of California, I joyously pronounce you husband and wife. Peter, you may now kiss your bride. the central white runner and they'll go under it. Thank <laughs> you. 